What is the best camping or outdoor multi-tool? Well, let's take a look at the top six from the major brands, and I'll let you decide. We'll start with the cheapest and work our way up. The cheapest is the Roxxon Flash, just reintroduced for 2023. This has a spring-loaded plier. It has replaceable wire cutters, and the pliers are very nice. It's got a great little pocket clip right there, and all the tools are on the outside. Now, I've remarked before in my re reviews how comfortable the Roxxon is, and they really seem to work on making a lot of rounded edges and making it, even if it's a little bulkier, fit nicer in your hand. Also, a big thing they work on is having one hand opening on the outside. So you have your awl, you have your Phillips screwdriver, you have your combo can opener, bottle opener, and then these also lock into place and then it's very simple to unlock them. You just push down and then push back and then it unlocks the tool as well. Now on the other side, you also have your saw and that locks into place. And then one of, perhaps it might be a little bit harder to get out. Sometimes I have an issue with this one is the whistle and ferrule rod. And so the neat thing about the ferrule rod is it stores inside and then you can actually screw it on and have a handle to strike the ferrule rod. And then it simply fits back into this notch like so. So that is a really neat option and then it tells you about it right here as well. So I really like the Roxxon Flash and coming in at $30 and it is 8.4 ounces as well. Now, the next one is also the heaviest one, and this is the Byberry 22-in-1, currently sold on Amazon as well. And this is 9.6 ounces, so by far the heaviest of all of these. But you do have this Wave clone platform where the inside tools will be the awl, the thick screwdriver, micro driver, wire stripper, the can opener. A lot of times they double this as the bottle opener as well. And then on the back, you do have this hammer, you do have the safety glass breaker, you do have the quarter inch bit holder, driver, sort of. Might be a little stretch of the imagination to call it a driver, but it can. And then you have also this whistle and ferrule rod as well. So this is definitely marketed for the outdoor community. And then when you go ahead, you can use the inside tools and you've got the file, diamond file, you have the combo knife, and then you also have, let's see on this side, the scissors, the full size scissors. And then you also have on the opposite side, the saw. So saw and knife, scissors and file. So let's go ahead and we'll put that back in there. So this comes in again at $45 right now on Amazon, and it will be 9.6 ounces for the Byberry 22 in one. Now the next tool is actually the smallest, and that is the new SOG Aegis multi-tool. Now this comes in at 2.7 ounces, and it will be five cents cheaper than the next tool. So this comes in at $49.95. Now the SOG Aegis is a little bit different in that it has a very long wire cutter. So it may be a little bit hard to see, but the wire cutter extends from right here all the way down. So it is a very, very long wire cutter. Works very well. And then you have the small pliers at the top. And this is, again, that leverage compound system. And this they label as a bottle opener or bottle cap lifter at the end. Usually they had a quarter inch bit driver, but I guess if you're out in the wild, you don't really need a bit driver always. They do have a pretty tough looking pair of tweezers. And then you have the knife as well. And this is not locking. So you do have the knife and uh, that is a neat little tool, very pocketable for all your needs as well. So that comes in at 2.7 ounces, $49.95. So the next tool comes in the Gerber Stakeout at $49.99. So I guess it's four cents difference. 
and this is 3.4 ounces and this is the Gerber Steakout. So you do have the clip with this one. You've got the tweezer that fits in there. You have a, I think you have some, yeah, some measurements on the back here. Then on the other side, you have this file. Some people have thought this is a uh, ferro rod striker or a match striker, but it is listed by Gerber as a file. And then you have the knife, you have the scissors, you have the stake, tent stake puller is how they advertise it. Many people will use this to carry bags and all kinds of things. The hook is very popular on Victorinox tools. And so perhaps on the stake out, many people will find that very advantageous to use as well. On the back of this tool, you have a short wood saw, and then you also have a fairly long awl as well. And so that is the Gerber Stakeout. Again, 3.4 ounces coming in at $49.99. Now, when we get to the top two, Victorinox has so many models that you could classify as outdoors. And I'm sure people will say you picked the wrong one, but this is the one I have on hand. The Huntsman, I believe, is this model. And this is just the normal version. There are several versions you can get. But this also has the puller as well. And this has the awl and the corkscrew. It also comes with the nice pair of scissors. You've got the wire bender stripper notch. And then you also have the screwdriver bottle cap lifter. You've got the saw, two knives, and the can opener and small screwdriver, I guess. You could classify that on top. You also have the toothpick on this side. You have the tweezers, but I pulled those out and used them somewhere else. So it comes with a lot of options. And this one right here is actually $49. So I mixed those up. This actually is cheaper. And the stakeout is $55. So this is actually the next one in line, $49. Uh, 99 and then the Gerber stakeout is actually $55. So keep that in mind. The stakeout is a little bit more pricey. It comes in at 3.32 ounces. The Huntsman comes in at 3.4 ounces rather. Now the most expensive out of all of these is the Leatherman Signal and this comes in at 7.5 ounces. So very light but very heavy price, $140. So the Leatherman Signal has a bunch of features. You have the replaceable wire cutters, you have the very nice set of pliers, and then you also have this quarter inch driver of sorts. You've got the clip, the bottle opener, and then when we go ahead and look at the inside, we've got the Leatherman bit holder, we have the awl, we have the combo wire stripper, can opener, bottle uh, opener tool as well. Has a very nice clip. And then when we go ahead and close this, one of the really nice things about this is this is a detachable knife sharpener. So not many multi-tools uh, major in that. Although I guess some different, if they could detach the diamond file, for instance, on the Byberry, I guess you could use that as a knife sharpener as well. And then on the, so on the signal, you actually do remove this from the inside, and that is your whistle and ferrule rod. And then it fits into this nook right there, and then it fits back in like so. You do have the hammer end, very similar to the Byberry. Although the Byberry comes in at $45, this comes in at $140. So this is almost $100 extra with some extra tools and a lot better quality as well. So these are the top six outdoor, these are specifically marketed for the outdoor. Even so SOG is marketing this for the outdoor community. I think this is more of a fishing multi-tool. Some people will say it doesn't have hardly any outdoor tools, but I think this is more like for a fly fisherman. Uh, you can see this has the ferrule rod and the whistle. This is the ferrule rod and the whistle. This one has the ferrule rod and the whistle. Whistle rather. Both the Huntsman and the Stakeout have some wood saws. They have some uh, outdoor, like the awl. This has the corkscrew, uh, which some people will stuff that with tinder. 
So the corkscrew isn't necessarily an outdoor tool, I guess, but some people will use it and store things in it and then it can become a lot more useful. And then you have the scissors and so forth. These are all marketed toward the outdoor community. So let me know in the comments below what you think is the best outdoor multi-tool. I actually think I'll put in the comments section a, a um, place where you can vote for which one you like the best and which one you think services the outdoor community the best. And that will be interesting. And I'll see you in the next video.